So we're at the Alamo Dome for the first time in over a month. It's been a while since we saw UTSA play here. After going on a three-game win streak, now they're on a three-game losing streak. So, Coral, what does the Roadrunners have to do to get back on the winning track? Produce offensively. We saw last week against UAB, they put up 220 yards total, and that's it. So, I mean, to get things going offensively, that's going to be huge for them, big stops. Um, defensively, we've seen FIU put up a lot of points in their last few games. So, both ends of the ball. they got to be more protective both ends. So in order for UTSA to get to their second bowl of all time and they have to win out, what do you think the chances are for Frank Wilson to get it together with his team? Well, they've got a tough matchup today against Florida International. Um, then they've got Marshall next week, who is, I believe, third in the Eastern uh, Conference USA. So that, they'll have their hands full with that. And then they have North Texas, who I believe is their third in the Western Conference. So they've got their hands full the next three weeks. So earlier this week, there was an article about Coach Frank Wilson comparing the program right now to Clemson, how Dabo Sweeney kind of had a tough time his first two, three years and then became a formidable foe in the CFP. Coach Frank Wilson was saying that this is kind of like how that was, where he's starting some of the younger guys over the older guys so that he can develop the program as time goes on. Do you think that this is the right way to do this, or would you start the senior guys over some of these freshmen? I think just, I mean, there's no right or wrong, I think, with that. I think whatever works, but, you know, they've lost the last three games, so I think whatever you've been doing, it's kind of time to change it up because you do want to lock in that next bowl game, and you kind of have to do whatever it takes. You might have to, which means making adjustments in your game plan. They've got to get the quarterback situation locked in. We saw JoJo Weeks. He's been... He was a good. He's been a good quarterback. He's got a great skill level. He's just young, and he's trying to figure out the college ball thing. He's trying to work his way up, and I think once he gets confident, hopefully he'll show it tonight. If he can do that and lead his team offensively, I think the UTSA Roadrunners will be on a good track. Well, that's it for now. Check back in at the 10 and 10.30. We're going to be covering this game all through the night. Kyle Spishok with Coral Riggs for Sports Tonight. We'll see you guys soon.